Good afternoon. This is a Hurricane Alex update for uh, Wednesday afternoon, June 30th, 2010. We have Alex as a Category 1 hurricane. Uh, maximum sustained winds 85 miles an hour. This was as of the uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time report. Uh, movement was northwest at 12. Minimum central pressure was 962 millibars. It's located about 110 miles east-northeast of La Pesca, Mexico, and about 130 miles to the south-southeast of Brownsville, Texas. Um, <clears throat> latest sum from the Hurricane Hunters actually have a pressure down to 960. Um, eye walls open to the southeast. Uh, the eye is about nine miles wide. Um, and you can see uh, reasoning why the eye wall is open to the southeast. I'll show you here. Um, you can see um, it did take a little bit of a northwest jog uh, this afternoon and kind of picked up a little speed finally. But now it looks like the latest frames, you can see it now starting to bend towards the west. So that should be the last little bit of north movement, although these can tend to wobble a little bit as they get to the coast. But looks like that bend to the west might start to happen. So looks like it's going to come just north of the forecast points here uh, when it makes landfall probably around... I'd say around 10, 11 o'clock tonight. Um, currently, <clears throat> you can see why the eye wall has been open to the southeast. A little bit of dry air getting sucked into this thing. Um, that might hamper it becoming a Category 2, but I doubt it. I mean, just looking at this, um, we'll see if that dry air really does not make it happen. But this is still looking like it's going to get close to a Category 2 at landfall. I'm thinking right now about 95 miles an hour at landfall. Um, I was thinking Category 1 all day yesterday at landfall. Before that, I thought 1 or 2, um, but still, 1 or 2, it's still going to be the same effects no matter what. And I'll show you those effects for Brownsville in a second here. Um, but anyway, there it is. Beautiful, visible satellite, uh, well-developed hurricane right now. And uh, here we are in the AVN shot. Just wanted to show you this. You can see the really uh, beautiful-looking um CDO right around the center. You see that little eye right there peeking out at us. Um, but you can see it's kind of open to the southeast, the eye wall. This little bit of dry slotted, just a little bit kind of got wrapped into here a little bit. And it's always the case when these things come ashore, especially South Texas, Mexico, we always seem to get some dry air coming off the, uh, off the land here and kind of gets involved in them. And they never really explode when they get to the coast, usually down here. But, um, we're looking like, I mean, I'm still thinking this is going to come in as a Category 2 hurricane. It still has a little bit more time to um, to, to get a little stronger, and the pressure is there. This pressure is like a Category 3 pressure, so it's taking a while for the winds to catch up. A large system like this, it just took a while. And um, since the pressure is still falling a little bit, I wouldn't be surprised to see this as a, a Category 2 hurricane at landfall. So landfall looks like it's going to come in about 100 miles to the south of Brownsville. Um, hurricane winds extend 60 miles out, so Brownsville will be out of the core of the real strong winds, but that's not that's not going to be the problem for Brownsville. Flooding, and I mean flooding, is going to be the big problem for Brownsville. Um, hurricane Dolly flooding. Um, if you're in a flood-prone area and you haven't gotten out at this time, um, you're in trouble probably because flooding is really going to be the big key to this, to this system for southeast Texas. Um, and I'll show you this in a second here. And here it is uh, on the radar presentation here. You can see the eye very well developed here. And this is where the strongest winds are going to be located. Actually, the strongest winds have been really on the northeast side of the eye wall. So right in here is where those strongest hurricane uh, winds are located. So here it is. So it's going to kind of move just like this. So the strongest hurricane winds are going to get up to about here. Here's Brownsville. This is where the strongest winds the northern part they're gonna come in right here just south of Brownsville but now you can see look at this line right here that's just been coming in um, there's been isolated tornadoes in this there's been a lot of little tornadoes spinning up since around 12 noon uh, central daylight time um, Brownsville unofficial reports of up to six inches of rain already in this in this band here um, winds gusts um, We've had about 50, 55 mile an hour um, winds already um, on South Padre Island right in this area. So this band definitely has some good tropical storm force winds in it. Um, as this moves this way, like I said, the core of the hurricane winds will get about here. We can still see some hurricane uh, gusts near Brownsville and South Padre, especially out towards the barrier islands. You know, I wouldn't be surprised to see some gusts to about hurricane force in here, but 
flooding is definitely going to be the big problem. If we have already have six inches, um, I'll probably see some reports 15 to 20 inches of rain when this is all said and done in this area. Um, hopefully, Alex will keep moving. Definitely don't want this to come in and kind of stall. We'd be in trouble. But um, this looks like it's going to be a big flooding event. Uh, storm surge, still probably looking at about three to five feet in this area. Um, water rises about four to six feet. So there'll be some, definitely some coastal flooding, some overwash. Um, but between that and that compounded with all this rain, flooding, definitely flooding, flooding, flooding is the uh, is the biggest problem here with this storm for southeast, extreme southeast Texas. And here we are again with the official forecast track. I mean, pretty much, uh, pretty basic at this point. It actually went a little north, northwest of the, uh, little north of the forecast points here. So, um, but now it's back on the west track. So expect landfall right about in this area here. Um, so all along, we figured it would be a northeast uh, Mexico near Brownsville landfall, and looks like in the end that's what it's going to be. Um, after all is said and done. Um, uh, let's hope the folks up in up in the Brownsville area, let's hope they are safe from this storm and hopefully everything will work out for them. Um, again, at this point, it's a little too late to probably evacuate. And um, if you're hopefully if you've been if you're in a if you were in a flood zone, flood prone area, hopefully everybody got out and is safe. So that's about it for me. Um, maybe have a little update at landfall late tonight. If not, I'll have an update tomorrow morning to kind of sum up everything. Um, so everyone stay safe and uh, have a good rest of your day. Take care.